Hey guys, this is Justin from the Survivor Review. Today I'll be reviewing 2010's The Expendables. Written, starring, and directed by Sylvester Stallone. This is a big action movie that's, that combines stars from the 80s and stars from now into one big epic action movie. Is it any good? Let's find out. So I guess I'll start out with the briefest thing I can talk about, the plot. <laughs> the plot centers around Sylvester Stallone who runs this, who's like the head of this group of mercenaries, <coughs> which are played by Jason Statham, Jet Li, Dolph Rundgren, Randy Couture, and um, Terry Crews. And they get a job to um, to go to it's like Latin America, that kind of island, and take out this kind of corrupt military general. Who is also ends up as working for a rogue CIA agent. You have to take both of them out. And essentially, yeah, that's the gist of it. <laughs> what do you expect from this type of movie? And for the acting, the actors, they, there's not really a bad performance for this type of movie. I mean, <laughs> you know? This type of movie, the performances all work for the movie because there's not some. I mean, the characters aren't like really deep characters. And I liked Eric Roberts a lot as the bad guy. I thought he was, you can tell, you can tell he was having fun with it. And I really liked that. So, I, I think, so, okay, as the cast, cast aside, I think one of the major problems with the movie is the fact that, like, it's meant to be this big ensemble movie. You know, it's all these, all these action stars in it. And it's, the movie's really kind of, not like there's this yeah there's the scene with Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis but that's a one scene and they're they're cameos so I, I felt that was wrong to advertise them in the trailers because it made a big surprise if all of a sudden if they didn't advertise and show them at all in the trailers and all of a sudden like Bruce Willis pops up and like oh and then Schwarzenegger walks and you'd be like whoa that's sweet but since they had to give them away the trailers to make the movie look bigger when it's really not. Also, um, also, like, the movie doesn't really focus on the team. The movie mostly focuses on Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, and Jet Li. And then the rest of the cast is kind of just supporting characters. So there's a part in the middle where, um, Swords, I mean, Stallone and, uh, Statham, they go to check out the place, you know, scope it out. And it's just them two. And that works as, like, a movie, but just when you're watching, you're just like, this is not what we expected from this type of movie. You expected to have like a whole team doing stuff. But it's just like, oh, it's just them two. And then like a scene after that is like, it's just like um, Stallone and Jet Li doing stuff. And then it just, it doesn't, there's no real focus on a team. It's just a kind of focus on them and then the team's in the movie. So that's kind of a problem. I mean, like I said, it works as a movie because like, like they have good chemistry and everything, but like, it just doesn't feel right for this type of thing. Also, another problem is the tone. The movie doesn't really know what tone it wants. Like, it has the, cause since it's this big 80s, it has all these actors in it, it's a big 80s homage. So they have a ton of over the top stunts and action scenes, which are really cool. But then there's a lot of slow, dramatic moments that are really serious. And you're just like, I did not expect that. Because you can't take it seriously. Because some of their lines are cheesy, and just the, there's, the characters aren't developed, so like they have these scenes that are serious with these characters, and you're just like... Like, there's this one scene, this is a really great monologue from Mickey Rourke, where he talks about how like he could have saved this girl, but he didn't, and it's kind of like a really sad and kind of dramatic scene. And it's well done, because Mickey Rourke is a great actor. But like it just doesn't feel right having this five-minute dramatic monologue in this type of movie. It just feels a little out of place and you're kind of just like, I just, explosions? No? Okay. And another problem is that uh, there's a lot of CG 
CGI blood in the scene in the movies. Like a lot of it, it seems you can tell it's obvious. It's just CGI. And that, that's kind of a problem, because you expect it to be kind of classic squibs and stuff, but a lot of times it's obvious CGI, and there's some bad CGI, one of the characters, I won't spoil it for you, one of the characters gets set on fire, and that looks bad, it's just, it looks pretty fake. And some of the action is way too kind of quick cut, you know, like modern style, kind of like born style, you know. And it's, it doesn't really, just doesn't fit trying to watch this good old time action movie, where you see all those quick cuts and fights, and it's kind of hard to see some of the stuff. And that kind of stands out and gets them away. So now I'll, so now that all my ranting about the problems I, I believe is over, let's talk about the good stuff. The action, like I said, besides some of the blood and the uh, camera work, is really good. It's really fun and it, there's some really good scenes that are pretty memorable. Like a scene where um, Jason Statham, where they blow up a pier, and just, they shoot it all up and they set it on fire and it's insane. And since there is kind of like a uh, like slow part in the middle, the ending, the climax, makes up for it. Because the climax is all out action and just insanity. So many explosions and gunfire. It has a little bit of that shaky cam in there, but not as much as some of the earlier stuff. So it's still, so besides that, it's still really watchable and it's some of the funnest action. Like, aside from seeing all the 80s icons, what you expected was the action. And they delivered. The action is so much, it's so fun to watch, it's so like, out of the, out of this world. It's great, it's so fun. It's great. And, um, and the scene with um, Schwarzenegger and Willis, it, you know, like I said, it's just a short cameo. And the fact that it happens about like 20 minutes into the movie, and that, that's it. That doesn't work, but like, <clears throat> it's still, it's a great, well-written, funny scene. It has a great payoff at the end with uh, Schwarzenegger with a joke with him. I love that part. And the scene just, that's an entertaining scene. It's just fun to watch because like, we expect to see them three in a movie and as they are and except the dialogue is well done. Fun scene. A lot of, there's a lot of great kind of funny moments that aren't like, you, know, you don't laugh at the movie, but you're kind of like left with it and those. There's a sweet scene where um, there's kind of so they're kind of like useless, kind of like a mini subplot where Jason Statham he like has a girlfriend but then she starts he sees this other guy and then and he comes back to see her and that guy like beat her so he so he goes to that guy who's like playing basketball and has this hilarious like cool fight scene where he just beats up all that guy's like friends and just like beats him up and that's a fun scene. Another example of the whole. The movie doesn't focus on a group, it focuses on like the characters. But it's still a fun scene to watch and really enjoyable. So yeah, that's that's the expendables. Besides some of the obvious flaws and the fact that it doesn't deliver really what it was kind of advertising and what's meant to deliver, like the biggest action movie with all these eighties stars, it kinda of doesn't deliver that. It it show it kind of not really. So for those flaws, some of the bad um, CG blood and the, some of the shaky camera work and lack of kind of like a focus, lack of a tone, I'll give the movie a 7 out of 10. Because it's still a fun movie. It's still a movie that I do put on occasionally when I'm like bored and I smell fun movie. I, just throw, I can throw on Expendables sometimes. Not as much as some other movies or some other movies starring these actors. But for what it's worth, you, did, you do get your money's worth. It's enjoyable. It's a fun movie. Could have been better. Could have been much more epic. But that's why there's The Expendables 2. And we'll get to that soon. This is Justin. See you later.